In this video, I want to talk about pasture land. But before we get to that, there's something else I wanted to share first. For a while, I thought I was just being absent-minded. I'd come out here to the quail hutch, and this egg collection box would be wide open. Oh look, a couple quail eggs. Thank you, quail. It wasn't me leaving that box open. I didn't get video, but I saw the culprit with my own eyes. It's a squirrel that was finding a way to get a free dinner. He wasn't able to open this latch, so the quail inside were never in any real danger, but he could and did reach underneath this door and flip over these little feeders. The food would then fall down to the ground through the hardware cloth and the squirrel could dine at his leisure. This hook and eye latch was absolutely no obstacle to this squirrel. I tried putting this heavy brick right on top of the box. Our squirrel just knocked it off. The next day, the next day I tried wedging it right in there behind the handle. That didn't work either. I don't want to keep buying dinner for the squirrel and I really don't want our quail to go hungry. We have only been using this cage, not this one. If I had to, I could just double up the quail on the other side of the hutch and not use this half at all, but I really don't want to disturb the quail's pecking order or their routine. What finally did the trick was this bungee cord. It just hooks onto the hardware cloth down there and goes right through there. No problems with the squirrel since then. Pasture land. I wish we had pasture land so we could graze our goats and grow hay for them to eat year round. Actually, we need to buy more hay right now. I'll be doing that later. There is a lot of pasture land around us and we really enjoy having cows as neighbors. I've got a few clips to show you from earlier in the year. I've kind of been saving them for special intro sequences, but since I'm talking about pasture land, I'm just going to show them all right here. Eros, do you see the cows over there? What do you think? What do you think? You like the cows? Ooh, here's some more cows. Nothing to be scared of. This next shot was something I hadn't seen before. The farmer threw out a whole bunch of old watermelons for his cows.
it's just not possible for us to buy more land near us for our own use. It's too expensive and unfortunately all of this pasture land around us is now zoned light industrial. It may take quite a long time before all of this is developed, before our peaceful oasis becomes an industrial blight, but if and when that happens, that will be heartbreaking for us. Why don't we just let our goats browse in the forest behind our house? I've had this question from a viewer before. Others out there may be asking themselves the same question, so I wanted I wanted to address it in a video. We don't own that land either. We, we own just a little tiny sliver of it, not really enough to make it worth trying to graze goats back there. Fortunately, it is designated green space, so there doesn't seem to be a threat that somebody's gonna cut down the forest and build condos or anything. What you doing, pretty girl? Bucket. What are those other lazy goats doing? Daddy wants to go film hay stuff, but mommy thinks goats are better. Yes. She says everybody wants to see the goats. <laughs> All right, I've picked up the hay. Don't, I, it needs to be close by, it needs to be close up. Here. I know how to film you. <laughs> well, if you get too far away, it won't hear me with the microphone. If you get too close, it's too close. That's too close. Come on, when, keep filming. <laughs> that's not, that's not going to work. All right, I've picked up the hay. This time, it was from another local farm. It's not too far away. Randy and Jenny are good people. It's very clear that they really care about producing a good quality hay. I think you were wandering around too much. People don't just want to look at your weird face. Arrows, do you like hay? Not interested at all. Their farm has been in the family for almost 125 years. I had hoped to get them on camera talking about what they do because I only know enough to ask dumb questions. I'm not gonna try and sound like an expert by explaining things like moisture content, storage conditions, the optimal time for cutting, various mixes of grasses and legumes. Hey goats. think about the moisture content of your hay. Is it the correct moisture content? What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's okay too. Or why a first cutting is different from a second cutting or even a third. What I will do <laughs> you keep wandering away. I don't know what the hell you're it's doing. It's because people want to see what Arrows thinks. <laughs> He's bored. He is boring. <laughs> Maybe. You can already tell. You can already tell. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is the stuff from this year. This is the stuff from last year. There is a difference in quality from year to year. And it mostly depends on the weather. Most of this stuff is from last year. I did get a little bit from this year. So you can see side by side that there is a visible difference in quality from year to year. If we really get a close up, you can see some of the seed heads. And that's actually good nutrition for our goats. 
this you know does have plenty of the seat heads too generally speaking a greener hay is a better quality hay our goats like it either way Feels good to be stalked again. One quick update. I came out here this evening to take care of the quail and look what I found. Our frustrated squirrel is now opening this other side. And you can see what they do. They reach in and flip these things over. No food for the quail. Doesn't look like it got the egg though. I don't know if squirrels would want the eggs or just their quail food. I've got another bungee cord to take care of this. <laughs> 